There's a moment Jennifer Gasoy. Did Cindy Lauper pull a John Travolta with your last name right there? I think she did. I, you know, I didn't even notice, but I just heard it there. The correct pronunciation, Jennifer Gasoy. Yes. That's it. And what a life moment to have there. We were saying earlier, first Canadian to win best children's album. Uh, when you look at that, still get goosebumps? Does it feel so real? I do. I, I really do still get goosebumps. I'm, uh, I'm amazed. Like, I, and I've, I've done a lot of press, and I've watched that moment many times, and I'm still like, whoa. Oh, did that really did that really happen? Yeah. One of the things I like in your speech is you said, you know what, I put this on my vision board and it happened. So you clearly are the goal setting type to say, okay, this is what I want to do with my life and and, and you saw it play out in front of everybody. Yeah, it was amazing. I, I am I'm really big on setting intentions, figuring out where you want to go, how you not necessarily how you're gonna do it, because we don't always know how it's gonna happen, but I definitely knew I wanted to create an album of the caliber that could win a Grammy. So and it was definitely on my vision board. So <laughs> And I get to hold a CD that's got that sticker saying 2014 Grammy Award winner. Pretty sweet. There's the album right there. And, you know, this is an album that you encourage people for taking risks. As a musician, as an artist, you have to do that to get to, you know, the end goal. Uh, what was one of the defining risks for you, making this or maybe just part of the journey? I think, I think doing just doing what I do and having the courage to be a musician and an independent musician was a huge risk. And I think that that was probably the hardest part of the whole thing is constantly having the external world saying you have to do it this way, you have to do it that way. And the whole way through I sort of went, no, I, I think I really want to do it my own way. And so it, it's, it's, it's a risk to be a musician, there's no question, and to follow your own beat and to, um, and to try things that are a little bit outside the box, which is a huge message in my album. Yeah, and it definitely is a labor of love and a great local twist, too, because you are from Vancouver, I living am? in Montreal now. Yep. Uh, when it comes to this weekend, which we'll talk about the event, already sold out, do you remember the first concert you played here in Vancouver and what that experience was like? I do. I do actually. It was at the the cellar, which recently closed down, the jazz cellar. Because I started off my career as a jazz musician. I thought I was going to do sort of a Nora Jones, Diana Krall type thing. And I can see it. Yeah, yeah. 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 And um, and I had a gig I with at the jazz cellar, and my piano player didn't show up. And so I had to call my piano teacher and he showed up at the second set. So my first set was with just a bass player. It was my first gig. All my friends were there, my parents' friends. And it worked out. And I went, it, that was sort of the first time I was like, things work out. Even when, when something seems to be going wrong, you know, it, things still seem to line up. So, yeah. And a nice round moment for the audience to experience yes. that. Uh, your, your music, obviously, not only just for the fans, but uh, there's, there's a helpful message behind it, especially those uh, children who have suffered with hearing loss. And when you look at the idea of giving music to children, why is this vehicle so important for development, for learning, for language, and above all, spirit? Well, that is actually why I'm here, to, to do two shows for the for the Hearing and Speech Center of BC. And um, it's, it's an incredible cause. It helps with language. It helps with speech. It helps with community. Um, so apparently, I'm, you know, music is a huge, huge part of the development for kids with, with hearing um, disabilities. Yeah. Yeah, and you're going to give back. And I know the fans are excited this weekend. In terms of influential artists, you talked about jazz. Love yeah. the jazz music too. The Nina Simone's, the John Coltrane's. Love it. Who was the number one jazz artist that influenced you, and then ultimately getting to this? I would say Ella Fitzgerald. Oh. She's my lady. Yeah. Yeah. I, I listen to her like crazy. I listen to all her albums. I actually um, learned her scats, a lot of her scats, yeah. and and she was a huge influence for me, among many others, Blossom Jerry, Sarah Vaughan, um, and, and some of the great jazz trumpets, trumpeteers, even Dizzy Gillespie, and a lot of those guys kind of influenced my my um, songwriting and my my love for jazz, so, but there's a lot of other influences in, in, in this album as well, Bluegrass, Calypso, Klezmer, I'm, I'm kind of a world music type gal. It's a collaboration of sorts, well here's the album album again and we're giving you at home a chance to win it right here throw a penny in the wishing well uh, congrats for all the success contest at btvancouver.ca if you want in on this jennifercasoy.com is the website that's it and uh, we have the event detail already sold out but we're gonna going to put it out there Saturday you got to go on there the website details right there how many people are asking you for tickets and trying to get in the door so right many it's hilarious I'm like people are like can you do you have any connections and I'm like 
well, I know I'm a Grammy winner, but I don't have any connections for the show. People are apparently like they're giving. They're, some people who are supposed to go are giving other people tickets, and it's 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 a happening. It's so cool I'm gonna have to come you. back and do more shows. Sherwinshearing.ca is the website to find out more. So great to meet you. Great to meet you too. And I don't, Don, uh, amazing performer too with the jazz music. You're probably a big fan of Jennifer Gasoy. Don.